Hello guys and welcome back to Ingenuity Hack, where we try to solve engineering problems in a way that's hopefully easy to understand. Today in this video we are actually tackling the 2020 final exam, which is worth 50 marks, that is half of the total marks of the semester. And there are a total of six questions going through all the you know different subjects that we tackled during the, the course. And we're going to do one video for each. So first question reads, the radiative heat transfer is taking place between two black surfaces. The area A1 is a rectangle with a length of 4 meters and a width of 2 meters at 1200 Kelvin. And the area A2 is a disk with 2 meters in diameter at 800 Kelvin. If the view factor F12, that is how much the first one sees the second, how much the rectangle sees the disk, or the disk, the disk um, what is the view factor to 1? That is, how much does the disk see the rectangle? Also, calculate the net radiation transfer between the two black surfaces. So how do we do this? Well, let's first draw what's going on. One of them is 1200, is 800. Okay, so 1200 and 800 um, Kelvin. So we have, you know, a rectangle. Like so. And one of the sides of the rectangle is 4, 4, meters maybe in this direction here and how much two meters in the other one two meters in this direction here okay cool um, and then this guy is seeing a disc we can put the disc maybe down here it's seeing a disc of two meters in diameter this is two meters too okay and they, these two guys are seeing each other and we were given the f12 let's just label them because then it's easy this is one and this is two we were given that F12 is 20%, 0.2, right? So that is, out of all the energy that leaves this rectangle here, 20% of it makes its way to the disk. Okay? And the first part of the question is, how much of the disk sees the rectangle? So that is, how that energy leaving this guy here and going you know, in this direction here. You know, this is a 2D drawing for a 3D situation, but hopefully it makes sense. How much of the energy leaving this um, disk is actually seen or reaching the rectangle? And to do that, what we can use is the reciprocity, right? Reciprocity tells us that the how much one sees the other is related to their area. So how much the first one times the, the area of the first one is equal to how much the second one sees the first one and the area of the second one. And then we have two simple geometries here, so it's easy for us, easy enough for us to solve this, right? So if you want to know what is F21, then all I need to do is F12, and then the ratios between the two areas. Obviously, the area on this one here is just a multiplication of 2 and 4, right? The two dimensions I'm interested in. And over here, if I want this area here, I just need to do pi r squared. The only thing that can get us here is that we have the diameter, not pi, uh, not uh, radius, sorry. So that means we need to divide by 2. Okay, so very straightforward, at least in terms of you know how to solve this one here. Um, so all you do is F. 2, 1 is just 0.2 of the ratio between the two things, and this is just the point, let's separate this, so it's, uh, 2 meters times the 4 meters, it's a multiplication there, and over here we just have pi r squared, and r is 1, so that's it, it's there. And this is going to give us the view factor of about 0.509, about 0.509, that is about 50% of the energy leaving the disk is actually reaching the um, rectangle on top here. Brilliant. Now when we have that, the other thing we're asked is what is the net the net heat transfer? Now we know which is which. Let me just double check. Uh, the okay, so this guy here is at 1200, 1200 Kelvin, and this one here is at 800 Kelvin. But before we even did any calculations on view factors and all that, we knew the net the net energy would be from the rectangle to the disk, right? Because of the zeroth law of thermodynamics, so hot to cold every single time. So we know that the net energy is energy leaving from the rectangle reaching the disk, and that, uh, that energy is related to the difference in temperature, that's a driving force for heat transfer, and the difference in temperature to the fourth in this case between the 1200 and the 800. So that is, we want to know what is, if we want to know, there's two ways of knowing Q nets, we can do, you know, what is the energy leaving one and reaching two minus, what's the energy of two reaching 1, that was going to give us a net, or we can go straight into Q um, net will be equal to 
the energy let's just put that up the energy going from one to two um and the difference in temperature between one and two right so you know as a high level analysis of what we're doing and then if we're translating that mathematically then what we would do is you know q net we get to put them do this the q net would just be the view factor of how this one sees this one because the energy is going from one to two so the view factor, q factor one to two times my area of one how much because we know the amount of energy is proportional to the surface area um, and then our constant to be able to get the units right and transform the difference in temperature from Kelvin into energy to Kelvin. okay so once it's set up now we just need to plug the values and um, calculate the numerical solution this here will be the 1200 this here is going to be the 800 right and just ensure that we have all the units in place after we do our calculation so Q net will be uh, point 0.2 um, what is the area area is 2 times 8 what is the constants 5.67 that's a molten constants times 10 to the minus 8 and then the two temperatures 1200 Kelvin to the fourth minus 800 Kelvin to the fourth so no you know curveballs here if these were in Celsius we would need to convert them into Kelvin because we're taking them to the fourth so this difference here is not going to be the same in Celsius and Kelvin uh, but other than that's pretty straightforward right so this turns out to be about 1509 or not 15 Oh, 0958 uh, 90 watts so we can go ahead and do uh, so this is just going to be 151 approximately 50 kilowatts you know then that'll be i guess the second part of the answer whereas the first part we calculated down here so this is the first part of the answer cool um so that does it for this question at least in terms of you know the the basics we might want to check our units here so we have blue and, and red on here so we have the view factor doesn't have any units dimensionless right it's a ratio between how the energy is going out and how much of that energy is going to somewhere else in this case to the disk then we have two meters times meters so we're going to get meters squared from these two guys here um, then we have the watts per meter squared to kelvins to the fourth and then we have the difference between two kelvins to the fourth so that's going to be kelvin to the fourth again kelvin to the fourth so unit wise what happens is this these guys go away and then these guys go away and we're left with watts which is what we have here so all good so i guess simple question to start off things on this exam let's do videos on the next questions as per usual just leave any doubts you may have below if this video helped you out consider giving it a like and we'll talk soon